What I'm talking to you on now is a GoPro 4. I love this camera, the quality is fantastic. Thank God GoPro got their ass into gear and, and sorted out the, the quality of their cameras because the first one that I had was pretty piss poor, to be honest. This one is fantastic. I love it. It's great for close-up um, shots. It's great for inside the combi for doing these vlogs and talking to you like this now. What it's not good is for anything of distance. So we still need our other camera. Now with the GoPro, I was complaining that it's not really possible to get the audio from the GoPro um, because it's always inside a case. Whenever it's on an attachment like it is now, stuck to the roof of the car, it's inside a case. Um, and the audio just sounds really quiet. Now some of the suggestions on the YouTube channel when I mentioned this last time uh, said you should get a skeleton case. Ta -da! That's what I'm talking to you in now. And it works much better. I can even attach a external lav mic um, if I want to bring the mic uh, from the GoPro to myself, which means that the the GoPro itself will sync up the audio and the video, which is one less step for me to do in post-processing and makes the process a lot faster. So all the GoPro issues are resolved. We've even taken a chance whilst we were ordering that stuff from Amazon and we were in the Portland area for a while waiting for that to come down. We've even taken a chance to get a polarized lens for the GoPro, which means um, the shots come out a little clearer, they're less glary, um, which just improves the quality a little further. Obviously we can't do all of the filming on the GoPro, so we have the other camera. So part of the problem with the camera equipment that I had was that I was using this 1970s Canon FD lens, which gets a really awesome quality um, picture. I'm really happy with it, but it means that I have to be quite far away because it's um, a 50mm lens. and because this is a micro four thirds um, sensor, I believe that that means that it's more like an 80 mil, which basically means that I have to be kind of this distance from the combi um, when I'm shooting to get them, the, the person in the frame. And obviously they're far away and then the audio doesn't work. So I was really missing having this lens. This is the lens that came with the Sony. Um, this is the broken one before. I bought this one just last week. The advantage of having this lens is that it's fully automatic, it's made to go with the camera so the, the autofocus works, which means when I pass the camera to someone and say, hey, can you film me, I've got to explain something, they can do it by just pressing go. You know, it's not a manual lens, it's much easier. Combi Life is filmed by the people that are here and most of those people don't have any camera experience. The problem is, this is a now three year old camera. I love it, this, this Sony NEX has been a great little tool for the job. I mean, you've seen the quality of the videos, it actually does really well for a quite compact camera. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a viewfinder to allow me to see the screen because the screen is completely scratched. So I just stuck this thing on there, actually super glued it on there. Yeah, it helps a lot. The decision I had to make with this camera is, it's already three years old, it's already been through countless engine rebuilds and a heck of a lot of stuff to film this series. Do I want to buy another lens for it or use this time to replace the whole thing because it's only got so much life in it? I figured that I managed to find this lens for a hundred and something dollars, so it was the cheapest option. I figured it was the best option to get me back on the road and making videos the quickest. Um, and two weeks later, my camera is broken. So now the shutter, you should be able to see the sensor here and the shutter's stuck down. So. That's what Combi Life looks like at the moment. That's our main camera. Um, it's one of those things, you know, maybe I should have just used the $100 that I spent on, the $120 I spent on the lens and used it as a discount towards some other equipment. But now I've got like a brand new lens for a camera that I can't use. Do I buy this camera again, try and find a second hand body now for the camera? Or do I upgrade to something new? I looked all over Portland for a lens like this in all the camera shops that were there and didn't, couldn't find one. Managed to find one on the internet and of course I'm sure a lot of you guys buy your electronics on the internet because it's often cheaper. Um, I live in a combi and don't have a postal address and I never know where I'm going to be. So when I need to get something like this, I order it to 
the town or try to find someone on the internet that I've never met before that will let me use their address and maybe I can get it shipped there. It's always a bit of a problem. It always delays me by a couple of weeks. Um, this means that I'm not going to have a camera for at least two weeks, even if I sort, start sorting it out today. It's just one of the challenges of trying to do this show on the roads. Um, I'm sure we'll find a solution, but unfortunately you guys are going to have to bear with us again. It's very, very frustrating the situation with the camera. We just got back to recording, everything was going great. I managed to give the camera to other people to film a bit of combi life. And you'll see some of that footage in next week's vlog um, from the island, Vancouver Island in Canada. But now that the camera's broken again, um, I'm gonna have to find a replacement or decide whether I'm going to upgrade it. Um, I'm always a bit worried to buy uh, second-hand equipment from the internet because you know you're just basically buying somebody else's problem this camera for a long time has had loose parts inside it so whenever I'm walking with the camera um, you can hear clicking and you guys probably didn't notice that I edit some of it out as well afterwards in post-processing but that's just even more work um, it's frustrating but I guess I've got to buy another camera body it's gonna be a few hundred dollars or do I use this time to upgrade the camera I don't know um, just bad timing right now this is my office for the day it is absolutely beautiful we're in Qualcomm Beach area part of the lovely visitor center who's let us run a cable out from their building and use their Wi-Fi for the last 48 hours so that we can make these videos and upload them to you um, so thank you so much to these amazing people for letting us be here. The office view has been fantastic, as good as it has ever been, as it is everywhere on Vancouver Island. If you haven't been here, please come here because it's stunning and the people are amazing. I really wish I could be sharing this adventure as quick as possible. I'm trying to resolve this thing as quick as possible. I know that we've been offline for a few weeks whilst we've been doing all this, but believe me, behind the scenes, I've been still struggling to edit with my crappy laptop. I've um, been trying to repair the power pack for that thing as well. This is the power pack for my laptop, um, which is broken. Um, I can't get another one here. So I've glued the broken piece back together and now I'm going to try and do some ghetto soldering to get it back onto the circuit board. If this thing ever works again, I'll be very surprised. Yes! Basically, you can see that I'm trying to keep the show on the road and I just am really grateful for your patience. I hope you guys are still keen to see what's been happening in the combi and what we're up to. I still want to share the adventure with you and I promise you, as soon as I get another camera, I will continue to share the adventure with you as best as I can. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, check out the next video on Thursday 3 p.m. and also there's a video out this Sunday about Sean. That's the next episode for season three of Astro Alaska. You can find out what happens between us and some of the difficulties that I face that aren't technical and more relationship and emotional on the road. Um, it's a, a crazy adventure from lots of different aspects and I hope you appreciate seeing all the different angles of it. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.